Hello and welcome back to the channel. So this lecture is all about querying Cassandra using Presto. So in the previous lectures, we have seen what is Presto, why we are using it and also we have submitted SQL queries on top of our Hive database. But now let's query Cassandra and Hive together in this lecture. So without further ado, let's get into it. So the first step would be just kick off your SDB sandbox and make sure that all the services are running fine without any issues. You can make sure that by logging into Ambari by using the credentials mari underscore dev. So if everything looks good, you can head back to putty and log in as a mari underscore dev. So just give the password now. And the first step would be just log in as a root user to get you all the privileges. So just give su root and give the password. Okay, so once you're set up, just make sure that you're running Python 2.7 version because it's more appropriate to kick off your Cassandra service. So to do that, just check the Python version now. And as you can see, we are running the 2.7.5. So if you remember, previously in the course, we have already set it up Cassandra and loaded some data into it by creating a users table and inserting some users data into it. So to access that, we need to first start the Cassandra service. So to do that, just type like service Cassandra start and hit enter. So it's starting the Cassandra service. It will take some time. Okay, so as you can see our Cassandra service has been started. So to interact with our Cassandra key space and all the tables inside it, we just have to use the SQL shell. So to do that, we have already set it up in the previous lecture but first we need to enable the thrift service on it and to do that there is one tool called as node tool so that utility we can use to enable our thrift service so just give like node tool enable thrift that's it okay so once that is completed you can just type sql sh that's it hit enter and that's it you are in the sql shell right now and you can query your cassandra key spaces. So key spaces is nothing but databases where all your tables will reside. So to get a list of that, just give like describe key spaces. So as you can see, we have the movies data key space created in our previous tutorial where we have seen how you can create key spaces tables as well as load some data into it. So if we just use the movies data, so that's a typo movies data. And now if you just give like describe tables, so it will just give us the list of tables present. So here you can see we have the users tables created in our earlier lecture. So if you want to watch that, I will recommend you to go back to our Cassandra tutorial where we have seen how to create tables and load some data into it. So if you just give a select from the users table, so we'll just get the data from users. So we'll get only 10 rows now. And as you can see, we have the data loaded into our users table. So let's query this by using the Presto tool. And let's also join our Hive table, which is present in our default database. So for now, just give quit. So for connecting Presto to a Cassandra key space, we have to make the properties file in the catalog directory where we have installed our Presto server. So we just need to give the connectors and the contact points to communicate with our underlying Cassandra tables. So to do that, we just have to go to our Presto directory. So if you hit ls, we have the Presto server. So just go into the Presto, then change the directory to etc slash catalog where we have already set up properties for our Hive database. So if you hit enter and hit ls, we have the Hive properties and jmx dot properties, but we don't have the Cassandra dot properties file. So to do that, we just need to add some two lines there so that it can communicate with our Cassandra. So to do that, just give like vi. So it's a editor tool where you can write and save this file. So just give like Cassandra dot properties. So it will create a file and give us the editor window to input our properties. So to write the properties, all you have to do is go into the insert mode by pressing I. So just press I. So as you can see, you are in the insert mode and type like connector dot name equals to Cassandra. And on the next line, give like Cassandra dot contact dash points equal to 127.0.0.1. That's it. So just hit escape, give colon WQ and enter. 
So if we just check the file again, Cassandra.properties. So here are the properties set for it. Go back and now we are ready to kick off our Presto server. So currently we are in the catalog directory. So just go back two steps. So give like CD slash dot dot. And now we are in the Presto directory. So to launch our Presto server, all you have to do is just type bin where we have the executable file and give like launcher and start. That's it. Hit enter. So as you can see, our Presto server has been started. So it will just take one or two minutes. So just wait for some time and then we'll come back and query Cassandra and Hive at the same time. So now we will be needing the command prompt which we have installed in the previous lecture to submit the SQL queries against our underlying Cassandra and Hive tables. So to do that, just type like bin Presto. So this is the file which I renamed in the previous lecture. Give like server which is 127.0.0.1 colon 8090 and we have to give the catalog where all the properties are residing so here we will give like hive and also cassandra so hive comma cassandra that's it hit enter so this will just kick off our presto command line and that's it we are in the presto command line now so here we can submit the sql queries against our cassandra table so let's do that first so to get all the tables from our movies data ski space, just give like show tables from Sandra dot movies data enter. So the query is running now. And as you can see, we got the users table. We only have the users table present in the movies data key space. So this we have created in the previous lecture. So I hope you remember it. So if we just describe the table, Go like describe Sandra dot movie da movies data dot users. So as you can see, we have the user ID, age, gender, occupation, and the zip code where that user resides. And the data types are also as expected. So if we just select the data from it, select star from Cassandra dot movies data dot users, and we'll just get the file records from it. And that's it, we got the data. And we also have the ratings table present in our Hive database. So to just give select on that table, give like select star from Hive dot the database name is default dot ratings. And let's get the file records here as well. And here, as you can see, we have the user ID, movie ID, rating and the timestamp. So we got the data from Hive as well as Cassandra. So let's join these two tables together to get some meaning out of the data. So to do that, we'll just use the join query to connect two tables and both are present in different databases and not just different, but the working principles are totally different. We are about to join the relational like database to the NoSQL database, which has the flexible schema. So this will be enough to explain you the real power of Presto. We can use this to query across multiple databases in your organization. So this is just an example. So here we will just select the occupation. So this occupation will be selecting from Cassandra. So just give C dot occupation. So C will be the alias for Cassandra table and we'll get the count of all the occupations from the hive dot default dot ratings table. So for that, we'll give the alias as H and we will use the join operation to join it to the Cassandra dot movies data dot users will give the alias as C on. So we are joining it on the user ID. So H dot user ID equals to C dot user ID and we'll group the data by C dot occupation. That's it. So we'll get the count of users for the specific occupations. So hit enter. And as you can see, the query is submitted to the Presto and that's it. So we got the occupation and the number of users who given the rating to the movies in movies data database. So here you can see most of the ratings are given by students and also the other occupations. So this is how you can query both Cassandra and have simultaneously in one query by using the join operation. So this will be enough to explain you the real power of Presto. So that is why it's been a very popular query engine, which can query multiple databases across your organization. 
So if you are facing any difficulties in this, just let me know in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. So once everything is done, don't forget to properly shut down your SDP sandbox. Otherwise it will throw some issues during your next execution. So just go to the machine and click on ACPS shutdown to properly shut down all the services. So if you like this lecture, please subscribe to our channel and also ring the notification bell to get the latest updates. And don't forget to follow us on our social media, which I have linked in the description below. Thanks for watching.